Progressive Victory campaign is finished, and as the final milestone, you get the Tier 7 French Battleship Champagne. So let's go take a look at it and set it up and take it out in a battle. Maybe look at some highlights. So first thing you do is set up the commander. So we're going to do that. The commander, Robert Jujard. So we'll select him and then we will look at his profile. You can see I have him ranked up to 14.2. .2 is the legendary rank. His base trait is Borer. It increases your battleship's AP penetration. Inspirations are Andrew Cunningham, which I have ranked up to 16. Concentrated Devastation. It increases the shell grouping of the battleship's main guns. Second inspiration is Ravel. I have him ranked up to 14, and it quickens the reload time of your battleship's main guns. So let's look at the skills. The first skill is Flammable Cannoneer. It increases the main battery range and shell grouping for your battleship, but it also increases the chances of catching fire. Second skill is Gyrating Drill Bit, which increases the main battery traverse speed and AP shell damage, but it costs a little bit of decreased uh, maximum speed movement. Third skill is Marksmanship. It increases the main battery shell grouping for any ship type, but reduces the uh, rudder shift speed. The fourth skill is Reaching Out XXL. It increases the maximum range of the main battery. Legendary skill is Will to Rebuild. It increases the HP generation rate when the repair party is active. The range to the allied ship to activate the special effect is 2 kilometers. Uh, when you upgrade to Legendary Rank 3, it will increase that radius to 2.75 kilometers. Okay, so let's take a look at the upgrades and set those up. So the first upgrade is Aiming Systems Mod 1. This is pretty much what I do on all the ships, so we'll go ahead and buy that. The second upgrade is steering gears or propulsion mod 2. Since I already have steering gears in stock, I will go ahead and select that. The third upgrade is target acquisition system mod 1. 2 million credits. I'll go ahead and buy that. And the fourth upgrade is secondary battery mod 3. I have one in stock, so it increases the second battery reload time. Okay, so in the loadout, you can see the ammunition looks pretty normal. High explosive, armor piercing, down over here in the consumables. We see the normal damage control party, repair party. Here you want to change this consumable from the catapult fighter to the enhanced secondary targeting. And then we have an unexpected uh, consumable. I've never seen this on a battleship before. This is an engine boost, just like on some cruisers and pretty much every destroyer. It will temporarily increase the maximum speed of the ship based on the ship parameters without bonuses. You get an extra 8% maximum speed. The duration is a minute and a half and the reload time is a minute and a half. And there are two of those consumables. As far as boosters, I don't have any boosters enabled at this point. Camouflage comes with the ship. It's a Type 9 Premium Permanent Camouflage. And it's a standard uh, uh, sea detectability range of minus 4.5% and incoming fire dispersion of plus 4.5%. So let's look at the stats for the ship. Hit points is 52,600. The artillery firing range is 19.3 kilometers, which is pretty good. Uh, reload time is 27 seconds, which is pretty good. HE shell damage is 6,100, and AP shell damage is 13,300, which is great. Secondary armament is kind of bad at 4.7 kilometers. Maneuverability, maximum speed, uh, 30 knots is great. Uh, rudder shift time, 13.2 seconds is what it is. 
concealment 14.7 kilometers let's look at the armor you see the ship has pretty good armor uh, throughout the hull 29 to 33 millimeters the um, bridge in the tower area is 17 to 24 millimeters which is okay you see the turrets are uh, pretty highly armored so let's remove much of this armor and take a look at the citadel that's always something interesting to look at okay so you can see this is pretty good the citadel does sit a little bit above the water though but it's not too bad uh, there's a lot of ships that have much worse so we just have to see how this plays out let's look at the overview fast above average maximum movement speed big guns the ship is armed with high caliber main battery guns nimble aim above average main battery traverse speed gives an edge in close quarters combat so i may want to go back and change uh, some of those upgrades to um, go with a quicker main gun reload time because the traverse speed really is pretty good to start out with so that will be something to experiment with at a later date Champagne, a uh, battleship design close to that of the Gascoigne class. Her triple turrets and the 406 millimeter guns mounted in them were developed in France in the second half of the 1930s. The year of the ship design is 1939, but you can see it. Uh, it doesn't show that there are any ships in the class. And from my Google searching, um, I don't really know that much about French battleships, but I was unable to find the Champagne. So I think some of the parts and pieces were developed here in the second half of the 1930s, but the ship itself does not really appear to um, have been built. So with that, let's take the ship in uh, battle and see if we can get some highlights. Right, we're in standard, we're in the Atlantic. You can see I'm in a division. And the one thing that I will mention is while the Champagne is fast and it does cause Citadel hits, it does have a low hit pool. So you have to be careful of um, the low amount of damage that you can withstand at 52,600. For example, the Tier 7 aircraft carrier Lexington is 57,000 damage, and that was based on a battle cruiser. Uh, the Tier 5 Queen Elizabeth is 55,300, and the Tier 7 Siegfried is 55,000, and they are both, all three of those ships, uh, have a higher uh, hit point pool than... Um, the champagne so you do have to be careful and you can see this guy right here he's backing up into me this is awesome I like when it happens I'm um, I'm glad it wasn't me that did that good luck, everyone. but good for him good he got luck, out of there everyone. there's uh, there's my division good mate right there he's gonna go hunting I guess he's gonna be spotting for us and so I'm gonna kind of angle over at the bulk of my team over here and I'm generally doing that to try to um, not be so wide out in the open. I'm going to get uh, mixed up here with this group of ships. Here you can see I've got an Iowa lined up and I'm going to angle uh, away from him so I'm minimizing my broadside. You can see he's already taking a shot at me and so there I'm taking a shot at him and I'm continuing to angle away and there you see I get 9900 uh, hit hit damage already that's pretty good so I'm lining up on him I'm gonna turn into him give him a little bit of the broadside while I'm reloaded then I'm gonna angle away There's the aircraft carrier on my team. I'm not sure he's going to last much longer doing that, but uh, good for him. Up to 12,000 damage. I hit the All Iowa again. Concentrate fire on the target. He's not aiming at me, so I'm happy to continue to engage him. 
And so now I'm compensating for the fact that he's turning a little bit. So hopefully he'll turn into my shot. That's uh, That was the idea on that. And he does a little bit. I'm up to 17,200. Looks like he evaded those torpedoes. And so here's another broadside. It looks, it still looks like he's not aiming at me. So I'm going to continue to, to do this as long as I can. That actually looked like a really good shot. Still looks like a good shot. And yeah, three hits, 26,000 damage. He's uh, looking pretty thin over there. So maybe I can get him. And nope. He gets destroyed by one of my teammates. There's a John Bart coming over here. Maybe I'm going to have another uh, broadside at him. Maybe another uh, attempt for a Citadel hit. Aiming at the waterline. This looks uh, pretty good. There I'm at the waterline. And here I'm turning away from because I know the John Bart and the Richie Lou, they're basically the same ship, same class of ship, and they will cause uh, quite a bit of damage if you get in their sights. Here it looks like his guns are coming at me, and he's taking a shot at me. I hope I can avoid this. And I'm going to get uh, lit on fire, it looks like. He kind of got me. Hopefully I can um, escape him. There I got him with a couple more hits. I'm up to 37,000, which is great. Problem solved. Looks like I'm going to be able to get another shot on him, but I'm not, I'm not too hopeful. This doesn't look good with the island. I can't really see where I'm aiming that well. But I took a shot anyway. A lot of times you get a lucky hit, even lucky Citadel hits. I'm going to try to take a shot right in between these uh, these arches over here. And I'm not really sure I'll be able to hit them, but I thought I'd give it a try. Looks like some made it through, but none hit. Splashed the water pretty good. And it looks like the John Bark got taken out anyway. So now the uh, aircraft carriers in the game are starting to, uh, airplanes are starting to get a little close to me. I wasn't really bothered by that earlier. Now I have to be a little bit more mindful of it. It looks like they're moving away from me, so I don't really have to worry at this point. But there's this Kefirst up here. He's looking like he's got a good broadside for me, so I'm going to try to target him, I think. There's an Edinburgh that looks like he's uh, kind of thin. I'm going to try to finish him off with a lucky shot. And they hit the top of the island there. So that was, uh, that was how that ended. And here the uh, airplanes are getting a little bit closer to me. They're 8.4 kilometers away. Hopefully I can get the shot off on the Susia. Looks like they're focused on my uh, teammate up there. But they will eventually come and get a shot at me, so I have to be mindful of the uh, aircraft carrier planes. Gonna take another shot on the Susia. He gets taken out. That looked like it was my rounds that caused his destruction, but I didn't get the kill. So here's this Kefirst. He's just like totally broadside to me. I think I've got a good angle on him right there, so I'm going to take a shot. And there you go. That's a Citadel hit on a Kefirst. I really didn't expect that out of the Champagne. I'm going to try another shot. I think I'm a little low, but. Uh, he is drifting in that direction. Maybe I'll be able to get some more damage. Not much. 
think those earlier rounds that hit were my rounds, not the, uh, the slew of shells that you saw there at the end. I am going to try to hide for cover behind this island. And there the uh, torpedo bombers did release some torpedoes and I turned on the speed boost and I'm hoping to use the steering gears to get out of the way of these. For a second there they don't look uh, that promising but I evaded two of them and only got hit by uh, one of three which is pretty good. Probably if I didn't have steering gears and speed boost I would have gotten hit by all three of them. Up to 52,000 damage so this is pretty much my Problem best game solved, in the sir. champagne at this point and somehow luckily you can see the first is not aiming toward me he's aiming at somebody else and I'm gonna take another shot at him and I'm thinking about going behind these islands over here and see if I can sneak around um, behind the islands and there um, Someone took a shot at me. I wasn't sure it was the first. I, I guess he is aiming at me now. So it was kind of hard for me to tell there who he was aiming at, but I did get hit by somebody, so I, I'm guessing it was the first. It could have been the Turpets back there, but now I've got the Shukaku, and I end up beaching myself on this island because I'm paying too much attention to these uh, the ships that are targeting me. So... Hopefully I can get out of here with uh, minimal damage because I'm thinking I'm going to get wiped out. But the first totally missed. He whiffed on that. And here I'm going to take some more shots at him. There's another miss. I think that was the Turpets that uh, had that miss. But between the Turpets and the first, I'm sort of thinking I'm not going to be around that much longer. And all three ships on the red team are right here in this area. So uh, now, lucky for me, the Kerfirst is pointing at my teammates. And he's kind of given up on me, it seems like. It looked like the Turpets are still uh, shooting at me, though. So I am going to head around behind these islands and hopefully catch these guys out. I am up to 66,000 uh, damage already. So... This is uh, looking pretty good. Hopefully I can come around these mountains, the islands, and get a few more hits. The Turpets, he's looking like uh, this should be a good shot for me. And it looked like I missed the Turpets, so... Still up to 66,000 damage. I'm going to come around here behind the islands and um, see if maybe I could uh, catch them by surprise. Hopefully they're still focused on my teammates. Twelve seconds to reload. It looks like I successfully did sneak up behind these guys. It reminds me of Call of Duty when you sneak up behind uh, your opponent there. So there, you can see the Turpets was gone as soon as I fired. It seems to happen more times than not, but I am closing in on the first. Maybe I can get close enough to turn on the uh, secondaries. But there he's just a total dead duck right there, right in front of me. And there... He gets taken out, 72,000 damage, the battle's fire. over, we won. Okay, so here we are in the very next match. You saw in the previous match we um, had a Citadel hit against the first, and believe it or not, we end up getting four more Citadel hits on this next battle. So we're just going to show some brief highlights on that. There's a Siegfried 18 and a half kilometers out. So here I guess I'm not sure if I get the Citadel on the Siegfried or the Shores. But I think it was the Siegfried because you're going to see his uh, health go down like that. So uh, it was only 13,000. I'm not really sure the Siegfried would go down that much. But either way I did get a Citadel hit on one of those ships. 
Here I took a shot on the Iowa a few minutes later. And I did get another Citadel hit on the Iowa. So a short time later, the Iowa does beach himself, kind of like I did in the previous uh, battle. And I'm already reloaded, so that looks like a good spot for a Citadel hit. And we're going to see what happens there. And there's a Citadel hit and a destruction. The Iowa's gone, so here is the last Citadel hit on the Mayoko. You see he's 14 kilometers away. All these Citadel hits are at range, long range. And there's three rounds. One of them is a Citadel hit for 13,310. I think that was pretty much the full potential of the AP rounds for the ship. So there you have it. That's it for the Champagne. It's a fast ship. You can see it does Citadel damage in the right uh, conditions. But because of the low hit potential, you do have to be careful about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, big-time battleships and going out in the open water. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.